Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, everyone. Oh, I gotta find my chat. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Thanks for being here. And I just got a notification that I'm live. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, no. Mute my computer. Here. Sorry. <clears throat> Thanks, everyone. Let me see what you guys are even seeing. Look, I put my little cricket inside the golf cart. This golf cart was my test cut, and the front is upside down because this part here was supposed to go down here, and this was supposed to be flipped. I didn't notice it till after I glued it, and I'm like, I'm not ungluing it. It will totally ruin it. So um, this is what we're going to be doing today. I have to thank Rita Evans for creating this file. Um... This is a design space file. The golf cart on the side, like just this part here, but it was much different here. I updated it because my golf cart is more round like that. Some of the older ones are more square, so the original one is more square. This is a Cricut image. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, Janice. Hi, Tracy. Um, and then she created like the seats in the floor, in the roof, the top part, and this part, which I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, cricket fell. This is supposed to be like way down here. This is, you you can't even see out the back. Poor cricket. Okay, and I used craft board on this. Um, this is paper I used for the insides here. But this is Cricut Craft Board. A lot of people ask, what is the Craft Board? I, I don't know the pound weight of the Cricut Craft Board, but this can be cut on any Cricut. <laughs> Sheila. Um, this can be cut on any Cricut. I did not use the knife blade. Although, I want to say Rita had e has just emailed me a little while ago, and she um, has been uh, so helpful and... <clears throat> everything she says with the humidity down here in Florida it starts to get wobbly like she had to reinforce the sides of the roof and things I'm not going to because my house stays like 50 degrees or 50 not degrees 50 percent humidity so I'm fine as long as I keep it in the house um but you could cut this with chipboard or mat board or anything like that if you had the knife blade to make it thicker. You could also cut it with two layers of the um, craft board. And I didn't put any links in the description for this stuff. Um, there is a link in the description to the Cricut store down underneath links and stuff. It is down there. Uh, if you don't have this and you really want to make it, you could use a few... Um, maybe like five pieces of cardstock and glue them all together, cut them the same just to make it thicker. That would work. Um, and what else? Oh, I, I have never, I did not test cut this or anything. This is what freedom, I think this is a Cricut image and then she added this so we can make like a 3D bag. I'll show you the picture she made. I used the foil poster board and so I'm going to put this up here. So if I forget to put that together, because I don't have golf clubs, so I didn't even test cut them. Like my golf cart's just not going to have them, but I want to show them to you. Um, see what it looks like with it, maybe. Okay, and I I made the steering wheel. Is that the cutest steering wheel? Thank you, Busy Crafter, for being a sponsor. You now have the link for this file. Um I just made the steering wheel out of circle and more circles sliced and stuff. Um, so I'll show you that. So the people who support me on Patreon and the YouTube sponsors get a link to this file. This is not an SVG. It will not work in any other machines. You do have to own this golf cart and the golf clubs or have access for it to be free. Otherwise, it'll ask you to pay 99 cents, but I think the golf cart or the golf clubs will probably 99 cents too. If you don't want those, just delete them. Um, I don't know any way of getting around that. 
So what you get is my file. And the people in the Villages Cricket Club get the file too, because Rita is from the Villages Cricket Club. Okay, now I want to give you guys a hint. Even if you're not going to cut this out, even if you're not going to make this, I'm going to go over to Cricut Design Space really fast and show you how I save paper. Because especially with craft board, I don't want to waste any paper, or if I was using a knife blade and using chipboard, I don't want to waste that. And it puts these on two different mats, this piece. I don't, there's, it's not necessary. But at first I'm like, oh my gosh, they don't fit on the same one. I was freaking out. And I figured out how to get them to fit on the same one. So let's go over to design space right after we do this. You are watching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time Okay, and for those of you who are sponsors I was able to add another uh, emoji So you can do my entire song Click me Okay, I gotta like sing it. There you go, Bobby did it. <laughs> and here's Miss Daisy, my golf cart that we're making. She has a face, I will maybe later do a face. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, if you guys have questions, please put them in all caps so I can read them better. I'm gonna go ahead over here and click make it. Okay, so now here's, I, I never let it just do it as it does. I like to save paper. So like, I'm always moving these things down. You can move all these circles to go in, you know, over here, just to save room. So just so you know that. But um, now here are two, oh, you guys can't see that very well. Let me move it. There we go. Here are two and three. These are both cut from paper. Um, let me make this so I can see your guys' chat better. Okay. <clears throat> um, click on the smiley face for the emojis. On two, mats two and three, they're the same paper. So we want to save room. So I'm going to click on mat three. Oh. I'm clicking on my video, not on the actual design space. Okay, so then I have this image. I'm gonna click on the image, and you'll see these three dots came up. We're gonna click the three dots, and we're gonna move it to a new mat. And then I'm gonna choose this mat, the one that's the same color, so it all cuts together. Now, it always moves the extra piece right up here. We certainly don't want that. We want it over here, but it doesn't fit. So we're gonna, we are going to move this arrow and move it over there. There we go, we're done. We don't have to cut mat three. Okay, so now let's look at mat four and five. Those are the ones I really wanna save paper on. Um, so wait, let's click on this one. So I'm gonna click on this. Let me move it up. Click on the three dots. Move to another mat. Or if you want to hide it, if there's something you forgot you wanted to hide, you can hide it here. Now I'm going to put it on the same mat with this. Okay, now they don't fit. Okay, I moved this down and I was like, oh no, I don't want to do two mats. So I found out how to do it. Notice this has a point up here. See this very top point? Okay, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make it flat at the top. I can move it up a little, okay? Still doesn't help. So what I'm gonna do is turn this one upside down. That's how I cut hearts too, you guys. You can totally cut hearts by turning them upside down. I'm gonna do this so it's kind of flat at the bottom. So I'm looking at the bottom of the roof right here and then I'm gonna move it over here. Now, it will all fit on one mat, okay? And this has this one. I have no clue what's on this. I don't know what I'm missing. I have, 
I, I don't see anything. I cut this up twice. Never cut mat five. I guess maybe I should load it in and see what happens, but I have no clue why that is. So when you move everything together, you only have, oh, wait a minute, there's more. You only have five mats because we got rid of this one and we got rid of this one. Oh, I'm so stupid. Mat five is there because I moved this mat, this image there. I kept thinking, why is that there? What's on it? I'm a dingbat, <laughs> but I figured it out. Okay, so we saved two mats and you can also save paper here. This is part of the golf cart and then these are the lights on the golf cart. You know, if you're really into saving scraps. Uh, I also saved this stuff, moved it in here. And then the reason I do this is because I can keep like three inches of this paper. If I'm using 12 by 12, or you could do this on eight and a half by 11, and it would totally fit if I moved those. <clears throat> uh, Joan. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see your question or something. Um, you, Joan, feel free to email me at Melody Lane Designs, has an S on the end, at gmail.com. Okay, where's the golf cart, please? Oh, where's it from? Uh, the actual golf cart is from Design Space. Okay, so... I'm not going to cut this out now because I've already cut it out, but I just wanted to show you guys, hi Janet, um, how to save paper and stuff, okay? So we're going to cancel. So this golf cart here actually has another layer on it that I think I saved it in another file. Um, this basic golf cart is from Design Space. And then Rita Evans helped... Um, well, she just, oh, let me show you. Oh, let me go to Facebook. Uh, let me show you Rita's golf cart. And she made a bunch of golf carts. Photos. Okay, so there's a few photos of hers. So this is what she made and she like put New York, she made this, I think it was for somebody's birthday or retirement or some kind of a party. She added things up here. Uh, she used the brown craft board. She tried to make it match. Uh, she put little red lights back here, which is so cute. I didn't do that. Um, and look how many she made. Isn't that amazing? Look. Look how cute she did that. So th this is how it came like th with that, like that. And then, but she totally made the seats and stuff. I changed the top of the seats to look more like my golf cart, but um, you can do any of that too. Uh, I would love to see people. Uh, hey, Joan. I would love to see people um, personalize their own golf carts. And you guys look at my head. It looks like I'm going bald. I'm not going bald. It's almost time to get my hair colored. And that is white hair. It's all white in there. It's a few dark pieces, but it's white. But in the video, it looks like I'm going bald, but it's just grown out. Okay. And this, this, Purple color does not cover up the white. I have to do other stuff to it. Okay, let's go back to the golf cart. Um, where is the side camera? That's on, I gotta turn this one off. Oh, no, this one. Oh, no, gotta turn this one off. Okay, so here's the golf cart for those of you who, oh my gosh, look, the way the light's hitting it, it looks like it's got lights, it doesn't have lights. It's just foil poster board, cricket foil poster board. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. So I got it all cut. 
I am, I got two camera angles here so you can see, there we go. And I got a different color of thing here so you can see that better. I'm gonna move this one. I'm gonna try to stay in both cameras. You know what I mean? In the view of both. Okay. Okay. First thing I've learned is I need to put these together first. And I'm going to put the wheels together because I lose little pieces. We don't want to lose little pieces. I'm using the same glue I always use. May May made it. Our glitter glue. This is an older bottle. Okay, so. Also, you can try to. Okay, these pieces go together. And these. Here's the front. Now, I put this on upside down. These all have little cuts here and um, cuts and there's a score line here. So I'm gonna show you how to score all that too. But I think I'm gonna, well, I'm just gonna put these together. I'm gonna set them here. Which way do they go? Not that way. Okay, I wanted to make sure I put the little orange piece in the right area. So that's why I'm using this piece to know which way it faces. So what I did is this circle, I actually had the circle as black and when I did it black, I couldn't see it. So I just made it silver. And then these little lights, let's go ahead and put the lights on. This is silver foil cricket poster board i did the outline so you could still see the outline with this it's not like just a guide but i tried it with black it didn't work oh boy get down there but it makes it easy to know where to glue it so they're even. Okay, so now I'm gonna put glue. What can I see? It's hard to see from the top of this little thing. Okay, let me show you. So I did it so it has some, I can't see much of the edge. So it has a little black edge around the outside. I took a picture of Miss Daisy's front so I could figure out how to make this. Sheila, I don't have the eyelashes made yet. I'm also gonna put Miss Daisy on it, I think. I might do that in vinyl and then put little daisies on her so she actually matches the golf cart. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a little glue here. And make sure this part matches the way this goes. Now, this matches the front of my golf cart, which is a 2017 golf cart, Yamaha. Um, and this is where the Yamaha logo goes. Oh, thank you, Maria. I was thinking of printing out a Yamaha logo thing that goes there, but I did it. And I didn't want to put it in a file. Now, did I do this right? Oh my gosh, I didn't. Did I? Oh no, I gotta switch them. There, now they're right. Why did I think I had that right? Did I mix them up again? 
So these are gonna, we're not gonna glue these on yet. I'm gonna wait until I get it on the golf cart. But I put these so it sticks over the edge. So this is going to be folded, has score line and little cuts. This is going to be, oh wait, that's not right. Did I do these upside down? Why am I so confused? It goes like this. That's right. Okay. Just goes to show you, everybody can get confused. To use this file, you do need to have design space. The Cricut expression, you can't. If you have a golf cart file and then you can make some parts out of free images and try to make it yourself, you could make it yourself if you have the cartridge. Okay, so that's gonna go up here. So the light is on the edge and this is going to go over the edge. You see that? That is gonna go over the edge like this after we get it on. See how that goes over the edge? That's how my golf cart is, so that's how I did it. And so I'm gonna point this down. Okay, so now I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save these pieces. Okay, let's go ahead and, and this, I used a piece of dusty foil. It was on the top thing and I think it was dusty because I haven't used it in a while. And the pen did this effect that I actually love. It's like not solid, but I think it actually works better than if it was solid. Because it's not like spokes in the wheel, they're chrome wheels, but. So now we're gonna put these little circles inside. I'm doing this now because I lost one of the circles on my other one. So it'll be harder to lose the big circle. Whoops. Okay, so I'm gonna set these off to the side to dry. Uh-oh. Look what I did. I like moved it and the ink must not, I got the ink wet. Oh well. That will go on the ugly side. I can always fix it later. Okay. Now let's go to these. Let me put the pen back in my glue. Yeah, Jessica, I was thinking about putting fake eyelashes on her actually but I think I want bigger ones. And let, well, I could get really long ones, I guess. My email is Melody Lane Designs, and it has an S on the end of designs, at gmail.com. Um, okay, this piece, it only has one score line here, and one score line here, and then one on the top. This is the back piece. Oh, you guys can't see that very well. 
Here, can you see? look at the overhead. This is this piece that goes down here, not way up there like I put it. Okay, and then here's a piece. What is this piece? Oh, this is the roof. Um, thanks, Lynn. So this has a score line here, a score line here, and then a score line here and here. So this is the roof. And then this one that has one, two, three, four score lines going across this way. And then they all have score lines on the side too. This one is for the floor and the seat. Okay. Oh, and these pieces, this one didn't cut. I cut things on the wrong, forgot to change the setting. Uh, this has a score line here and here, and there's two of these. These are for the seat because my seats are black with teal, so they're going to sit not that way. Here they are. They're going to sit on the seat. Okay? So what did I want to do? For, what did I do first? I did the seats first last time. Okay, so we're going to do that again this time. Now, make sure all these cuts are through. I saved it, and I had to recut some of these. So I went into my file after I shared it on Patreon and in the sponsored YouTube. I went ahead and clicked it. So if you already saved this file to your account, uh, you might want to ref delete it and then go back and save it again. Or just, um, I just use scissors and just cut the tips of these. So, um I'm putting this together, I have to think. This is the very top. So I'm folding that down. So the top part is just a little edge there. And then this is the seat. It's gonna be folded up this way. So on this score line, I'm gonna fold it this way. And then the next part of the seat goes down this way. So it's mountain and valley, mountain and valley, just like all the folds are. So then you do the next one. Okay, so now if you're putting to th this together, you may need to rewatch this video, stop and pause the video, and then keep going. That's the best way to learn. Bye, Angela. Okay, so now this is the floor. This is the top of the seat, and we need to fold down the score lines on the side. Oh, that one didn't fold on the score line. I did not label the pieces in design space. Maybe I could. I would have to put writing in there and then you don't cut out the writing. Maybe I could group the writing on top of it and not attach it so it doesn't actually write. So then when you um, are looking at it, you will know. Okay, so that's the seat. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this part into the seat because I did the other one afterwards and it was much harder. So this has a little line up here. So the stripe on the seat goes that way. Now, if you have a golf cart or you're making this for like Father's Day or something and his golf cart is different, and different colors, feel free, you know, just do it however you want to do it. Let's go ahead and do this one. Joan, that is a great idea. That'd be great for Father's Day. 
to put pictures inside. Make like some paper dolls and put pictures inside. Wouldn't that be fun? <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these on. I'm just guesstimating about where they go. I feel like my marker is making noise. It's a lot. I probably need to finish the project. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, it's not perfectly even, but it's good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, this is the back, and show you how to fold all these, and then we're gonna glue them together. So these I'm folding up. <laughs> Joan, you are so funny. Oh, I didn't fold it. I'm this one. So this one is for the back. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this together because we want to glue. See, that's not cut. So I'm going to show you how to glue these. See, they have tabs here and here, and we're going to bend this up. We're going to put glue right there and then close that. It'll be almost like a little box. Do you guys see that? So you put glue here. Bend it up and then bend that down, that down. And then hold it till it dries. So you want to squeeze that corner. Now, if you've never done this before, Darlene, I cannot wait to go on a golf cart ride because it has been raining here for days and days. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm putting this tab glue on this and then folding it up and then gluing those pieces together. So folding that up and pushing that in. So it's like a little box. It hasn't rained today. Okay, so now I'm going to add glue to these corners and fold these up.
I'm just going to do them both at the same time. And it's hard to show you completely on video. I'm going to hold it up this way. Pinch that. And pinch this one. So I'm holding both corners. Yeah, at least it's not snowing. So you guys, um, for every 10 sponsors I get, I can upload a new emoji, a custom emoji. So the next emoji is a cricket just gonna zam enough glue. A uh, cheerleader. And on our body, because he's our channel cheerleader. Janet, those are um, for people who sponsor my channel for four. It's a YouTube thing that it's a new feature. You can sponsor a channel and then they you get certain badges and um, you can upload emojis. <laughs> OK, Sheila, I'll go back and label. Um, OK, Patricia. I will go back and label these pieces. I think you're right, Sheila. They do need to be labeled. Okay, so this goes to the back. So it's like that. It's not perfect. I mean, it would be perfect if you folded it and glued it perfect. <clears throat> okay. Now this is the last one. This is the roof. And what I did when I looked at this, Notice there is a score line for every dip. There's a teeny dip there in here. And actually, I think my roof goes a little bit longer than this one. So I'm going to go ahead and fold all these down. These are not valley and mountain folds. They're all mountain folds. They're all folded the same way. They don't need to be folded a whole lot, though. It's not like strict, <laughs> strict, you know what I mean? Not like really sharp edges. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to get more sleep. I posted on Facebook this morning, I took a reverse nap. Now, I thought of this word, I made it up. I thought, what could I call that? It's like a nap in the middle of the night, but it's not a nap, it's not sleeping. So I was trying to think, I need a name for that. I had a definition, I needed a name. So I thought of reverse nap. And so I'm like, well, am I the first one to think of that? So I Googled it. No, it's in the Urban Dictionary. Reverse nap. I thought I was clever. Okay, so here's the roof. Okay, so we have all these pieces labeled. All right, let's, what did I put to do first? Let me go ahead and try this part. Oh, this part, I made a bone folder. You guys, if you're part of my Cricut Design Space group, somebody thought it was called a boner and went to Joanne's and asked them for a boner. She wanted a bone folder. It got a lot of laughs. And I cannot find my bone folder, my pink one. I took a picture of it even and sent it to Sheila, proving that I have it. So what I'm doing is... Kind of just 
doing this, if you have a bone folder, what it does is it kind of bends it. And I have to remember not to put this on upside down. So you just want it to have a bend into it, not perfectly straight. Good night, Dawn. Thanks for the bless. Okay. Now, we're only going to do, okay, let's, let's not put this on the wrong way. Let's figure this out. Maybe I should put these on first. That will go that way. This has to go this way. And they, okay, I did it. I didn't mess up like I did last time. I cut them out the same and they didn't fit the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these sides on. I'm doing all the easy stuff first. So I'm gonna match up the corner here at the front. And then match up the top, just line it up. Wow, I did really good on that one. Okay. Now, if you use a different piece of craft board, you're going to want to make some black circles. Because I'm using black, I'm just using these circles. But you do want to make extra circles to put black here. And you can just put those on top of here. Um, just use the free circles and kind of shape them to the size you need here if you want to use a different color. On the right, on the left hand side of your, oh yeah. I did look in my carousel, it should be there. And it's not. That's why I was like, oh my gosh. It might be in my Crip, Cricut crafting bag. Okay. So now, the hard part. This is probably the hardest. What we're gonna do, we're gonna keep checking to make sure I'm putting this on right. So I'm gonna try it this way. So the circle will be on the bottom part of the car towards the wheel. Although it doesn't look horrible the other way. <laughs> Connie. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm gonna line this edge up here to the edge right down here. And then we're going to go around the curve here. I'm like really moving this around. Around the curve here, just as far as it goes. So what I'm going to do is put glue, just put dots of glue on this like that. And we are going to put that on the edge. We're going to line it up right on the edge. We're going to try really hard. Okay. Do as I say, not as I do. It's not really that hard. I have this glue gun thing that I use. You could use a pencil push down on that and it helps save getting glue on your fingers and stuff. Okay, now before it completely dries, I'm going to go up here and kind of push it down so it it's even now. I think it looks that way. Whoops. Okay. 
Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going in and pushing that down. So it's dry. Don't want to mess with it too much if it's good after you pick it up and look at it. Okay. So then this is the first part. It doesn't look great yet. It'll get better. Okay. Now what did I do next? I'm going to put the seats in. Okay. So. The seats. The seat is going to get glued like here. And then go up to this corner up here. Can you? It's. There's stuff that is black behind us. Let me move this here. Just so there's not a black background. Does that help? Maybe I'll put it backwards. Okay. So it's going to go no, this way. It's going to go the, like glue here, up here, and then the back of the seat is going to go up this arm here. See that? So there, down, and here. So that's where we're going to glue it. So it might be kind of hard with me trying to get it glued on there. Hi, Kiona. I even said hi to you because I knew you're going to watch because you said you guys were going to do the golf carts. Kiona, watch this video at the beginning before you cut it out because I show you how to save space. Kiona said her and her daughter are going to put these together for Father's Day. Okay. So I'm gonna start with just the floor. I'm just putting together one part at a time. So I'm going to put this in here. You might wanna start, let me see, at the chair. Well, I think that'll look all right. So once you get it down, you need to press it down here. Once you kind of check that it's in the right spot, press that down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add glue here and up this wall here. We're gonna see how that goes. Last time I put glue on the whole side of this first and it was much more difficult. You have to really hold it on there until it dries. Okay, I pushed it and I, I just want to check that it's kind of lined up here and lined up here. That looks good. Now, I didn't put any glue over here because I wasn't sure exactly where it was going to go. So I can go back now and add a little glue under there and press that down. Oh, it's hard to see. So before we mess with this too much, we're going to let that dry. Yeah, make sure you hit um, notifications and right click on it and put always instead of once in a while. Okay, I think we're, we're starting to do good. I know it doesn't look great right yet. Okay. Okay, then I put the roof on next. Now, to make sure you have the right side of the roof, the front has the shorter part here, and the back has the longer part. It matches along with this. 
See how this is longer than this little slope. Okay, and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna add glue onto here and then I'm gonna glue this down here and I'm only gonna do a small section at once. Otherwise it gets too hard. And I'm gonna add a little bit of glue there. And then I'm also going to add it here just to get these corners down. And I can't grab them both. My nails are way too long. You guys are so cute in the chat. waving at each other. So I'm going to do that on each of these corners here. <laughs> Keone, 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 I had you in mind with that song, so you didn't have to type it out. Okay. Now we're going to put this on here. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add a little glue here. I'm probably gonna have to add more. But. So I'm just gonna follow the line here. And I'm holding it down, I'm pushing it down with my other hand behind here. Okay, so I only have that one part in and I'm turning it this way so you can see. Look over here and here, see where I'm pointing? No, it's in my way, there. I'm going to put glue along the edge in here. And I can't see. <laughs> and push it down with this. But I want to look at it from this side. I want to try to see how that looks. There we go. And then hold that in till that dries. Now, it's very important not to use craft board on the thing here. You want to use paper so it's not too heavy to weigh down the sides here. Oh my gosh, Sheila, you are so smart. Sheila's going to use leather for the seats. You could totally use faux leather. That is a great idea. Actually, you probably want to use cardstock and cut it out twice and put the leather because the leather won't be strong enough to sit on its own like this does. But you could totally put leather on top of it. Okay, so now we have it all together except for the back and the bottom of the back put way down here at the bottom. I put it way up here for some reason. I don't know why or what I was not thinking. And then this back piece will go along this line here. 
you can see that it'll be this line and then down here so I'm gonna put glue here I'm gonna go ahead and glue it all up we'll see what happens So I'm going to put this way down at the bottom as far as I can. Push this down and have this going up that line. Oh, you guys can't see that. There we go. So it's going up this line. And actually, I could even put these together now. I think I can glue. No, I better not because there's a hole there. Okay. All right. We're good on that. Now, okay, am I missing something? I got to do the tires. No, I'm pretty good. I think we're good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the wheels on. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Okay, these wheels are not the best. After I put glue on them, I kind of messed them up a little. Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put glue on these. Michael's probably at work. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do now, we're gonna put this on top of here. We're gonna start again with the front. I think I'm gonna do it this, or do I wanna do it this way? I forget how I did it. It seems too straight. Okay, I'm going to do it this way, where I have this down and this way, because then I can push down on the bottom and push it down to the table. I don't know how to get more light in there for you guys. But I'm going to be pushing, gluing that down. And then I'm going to pick it up and look at it before the glue is totally dry. I'm, let's just do this. We're just going to put glue here. I don't, I want to put a lot of glue because, okay, this is kind of hard to do with that floor in there now because I don't want it to dry very quickly, which sounds crazy, but I want to be able to move it around if I need to. Okay, I'm just going to push it down and then look at it this way. Yeah, this is how I did it before. I'm just putting my fingers underneath, pushing up while I'm pushing down with my thumbs. Oh, uh, Michael's moving today. Yay! I do not have, uh, I do have headlights cut out. For those of you who joined late, 
I have headlights that go into the front. I don't have eyelashes and mouth and tongue and stuff. That's a later project. I at least wanted to just get this done for the people who have a golf cart or want to do this for Father's Day. Okay, you might need practice. Practice, not practice, practice. Okay, I don't want to do this yet. Let's go ahead and do the floor now. So what I'm gonna do is just put glue on all these edges. I'm gonna just go for it. This is only my second time making this. And I've gotta move this up to match this point here. And this, it's not gonna be perfect. Perfect, I can't even speak. It's not gonna be perfect like the other side because it's, I mean, it will be once we get it on there. side of the seat. You have to move it around. You can't just glue it and you have to get it to fit in there. Once you get the seat in there, it's okay. This bottom part isn't a huge deal and you want the back of the seat to go along this line here. Okay, I think I got it. And notice how the seats are, they're not flat straight down, they are pointed in at the bottom here. Oh, you can see that floor was coming up. We gotta get that floor in there. It's like really hard to do until it's totally dry. Once you do a couple of these, I think it'll be really easy. And it's fun. I love it. And I was thinking, could you make a really big one? Yeah, I don't, like, I'm thinking you could put, like, a bag of candy or add candy to the back, back here, like, for a treat box. Okay, so now we have this to glue on. Can I do this first last time? I'll do that last. So I'm going to hold this up a little and add glue throughout here. And then we are going to try to line up the back piece to go along the side edge. And I just have to thank Rita Evans for designing. She designed the way these seats and car in the front. I mean, I changed the front a little bit, but she designed everything to make it 3D. Okay, so I'm pushing up from the bottom here and here. I do have a golf bag that she kind of made 3D. Hi, Patsy. 
Uh, Patsy, I shared this uh, with my YouTube sponsors, which you are one. On my community page, you'll get the file for this. It's already there. Okay, I think that seems good. We're getting there, guys. So now I'm going to put glue across there and then hold this on there. And, and we're going to attempt the golf cart. I've never, or not the golf cart, the golf clubs. I have not put the golf clubs together. I want to try to line this up evenly up here. I am not doing a good job. I gotta hold it on there. That's where my problem is. Holding it there. I get impatient. Yes, my patrons, I posted a link already for Patreons. They should already have this. At least I think I did, unless I didn't click post. I know I made a Patreon post. I don't know if it's posted. <laughs> Let me look real fast. Where? Oh, you guys, I didn't publish it. I even put a post that I was coming here at 515. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. Oh, I thought I posted it. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I don't think I've ever done that before. Okay, so I got that good, see how it's kind of even there. I like did that an hour and a half before I went live. So you guys would know and I am so sorry. I did that before I even cut it out. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, now we have the steering wheel. So I just made the steering wheel and I had a really long stick on it and it was way too long. And I have not decided how to do the steering wheel. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. There's no score or anything in here, but I kind of was playing with it. Like I bent it down. You can glue it on first and then do what you want. Glue it down like that. And then I thought, well, if I glue it this way or push it that way and this way and here's how I did it in this one. I kind of like went this way and that way and then pointed it down more. Oh, you guys can't see that. You see? So you just do this however you want to do it. You could even fold it down and fold it back like this maybe. I don't know. You just kind of, whatever you guys think. <laughs> I don't know. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna glue this. I'm 
underneath here. And so I'm gluing it to the bottom of the teal piece. I gotta hold it till the glue dries. I think I will add Miss Daisy decals. Yeah, it needs to have a straight piece stuck to the middle of the wheel. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I do have in there hidden, I just made some steering wheels, I guess. You could just cut that off and then glue this to the top, maybe. That would be cute. You could cut it off at the stick and then glue this top to the very top edge there. You could do that. Bobby, why are you crying? And is George crying? Okay, lights. Okay, the lights are going to go there and then fold off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and fold that. There's no score there. but it's just gonna go that way. I also cut this, it's not straight across. This is so it kind of goes with the lights because I, I had to go take pictures of Miss Daisy for myself when I was designing it and she's not straight across. She's more kind of like rounded like these. So I'm gonna add glue here. That's the right way, right? No. Is that wrong? It is wrong. This goes on this side. I cannot believe I keep getting this wrong. So it goes like this. Diane, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to push this on here. This glue will dry. I'm not even going to worry about that. And then I'm going to add some glue here. And hold that in. So we're going to let this dry. You can do without the left camera, the overhead camera. Do you guys want me to turn that off? Is that better? I don't know if you can see better. Is that better? Okay, let's put glue back on here. Yay, Bobby. I love using those things for more than just the theme song. So I thought it's so fun about those. Okay, so we're going to line these up at the very bottom. Hold that on there. And glue all over my fingers. Thank you, George. Yeah, rhinestones in the center of the wheels would be cool. Ew. 
Okay, and then we have these pieces that go here. And I made four of them, so you can put on the inside and outside. I'm just gonna put them on the outside for now. Now let's, I put glue on the wrong side. This would go on, oh wait, I can do it on this side. Do another one figure out how it goes before you put glue on it I'm gonna do it that way and I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be but the arms of my chair go up and down. So for my golf cart, this is the arm. All right. I think that's pretty much done. We'll put the golf clubs together now. See, I need more practice with glue. I need to not get glue all over my fingers. Maybe wipe my hands with some baby wipes as I go. And that would be better. What do you guys think? I don't know. Not, I think it just takes practice to get it really good. Bye, Bobby. See you Saturday morning. Okay, now these. Yeah, this was a long video. Sorry, guys. All right, that must go there. And before you cut this out, guys, watch the beginning of this video if you missed it. Because I give you pointers on saving the... And I'm not sure where these all go. That must go there. I give you pointers on saving uh, mats so you don't waste your paper. And of course, you can cut these on any color you like. I'm just gonna leave it like that. There's a few more pieces. And like I said, I'm not, I did not, Rita did this. This is from Cricut, and then Rita added this to it to make it 3D, and hers like really stands out. That's what she did. So she put it like this. Maybe this bends out too. So it's more 3D. I think that's what she did. And I didn't glue that. Make sure all this glue is dry. Because when you bend it. Um, the out, it's, it's from a, originally a golf cart in design space. I changed it a lot. Rita Evans from the Village's Cricket Club designed a lot of the inside to make it a 3D golf cart. She made a 3D golf cart and then I tweaked it a lot and rounded off the front and added like some of these lines and stuff and added that steering wheel and tweaked it. So it was a group effort. So I did share the file with my Patreon supporters and with my YouTube sponsors and with the Villages Cricket Club. But it will cost you 99 cents if you don't own the golf cart that we used. And this might cost you another 99 cents. If you don't want this, just delete this part and then it won't cost you that.
See, I am just making a mess with glue today. You can see all this glue because I just didn't want to change the color of this. I'm not going to glue this in because, oh gosh, I didn't make that even. So there's the golf cart in the back, golf clubs in the back. And if you have a little cricket doll, he fits up in here. I didn't do that real well either. I think it would be easier if I do this again, not on video, not trying to do it so you can all see. I might have to try again. But I would love to see what you guys do with it. Bye, George. Okay. I think that is it. Let me go back. Okay. Sorry this video was so long. Thank you to all of you who made it from the end. Ooh, I got to put my pen back in my glue. All right. Does anyone have any questions? Did you guys see the cricket sale? There's a huge cricket sale. Uh, I shared some of the cricket sale on the community page on my YouTube channel, and I'll be sharing a little bit more of it. Isn't it cute? I love it. That is so cute. There's me and Jen Goody on the Alexa. Oh, I said her name. She's listening. What is on sale? Paper is 50% off. And then with my code, Melody Lane, you save another 50 not another 50, another 10%. And free shipping. If you have access, it's another 10%. Uh, please use my link. That's the only way I get credit for the sale. Um, you can find the link to my store in the description of the video, like down low under the links or on my community page. No mystery boxes. There uh, is 40% off all cutting materials except for new. There's 10% off bulk. If you buy the green mats in bulk, you get them for $2, I think maybe $2.60 or something each. Thanks, Darlene. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Oh, thank you, Sheila. I will sit right here and label those pieces so they will be labeled right away. So I'll label them seat, um, roof, and back. I think that'll work, at least so you know. And then I'll group it with it so it doesn't write it on it on the actual mat. And then those words will be on another mat by themselves to be written. Just don't, just skip that mat. And I'll make it in red or something. All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks so much. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And Saturday morning, I do live design space classes at 11 a.m. So I'll see you there. Bye. I gotta find a stop.